In this video, we're going to analyze the functionality of the 1RM filter. We can find this filter in the training area. So let's create a training session. We can see it here in this area. But before we start working with it, we're going to explain what the 1RM filter is. And for that, we're going to go to the strength velocity graph. Okay, as we can see, we have these two athletes with which we haven't done any RM equation or load velocity profile. We haven't done it yet, and we find the one that comes by default with the app in this athlete as well as in this athlete. And as we can see, the loads that have been used for this profile range from 046, the fastest, to 014, the, sl the slowest. And here we see that profile. So then, what the filter does is it won't estimate the 1RM with loads that don't move between these velocities. So if I do a rep, for example, with a very light load at 080, 090 meters per second, in this case for deadlift, since I don't have the pro a profile with a load that reaches 080, 090, then it won't estimate the 1RM because it would be estimating the load it would be estimating the 1RM with a load that is not in my profile. Therefore, it would give me the wrong 1RM. It would either be too high or too low. And now we're going to see that. Let's continue the training session and see this filter. And as you can see, is at 046 by default. This section will record the fastest velocity in your 1RM profile that you've done. Since this athlete doesn't have a personalized profile, it will be the app's default profile, which is at 046 by default. But if I changed it and made a profile with this athlete, and for example, his fastest was 080, 085, then here we would see 085. Nevertheless, I can change that. Now we're going to see how. Remember, it's set to 046. So let's imagine this is a very light load and I do a rep at 058, which is faster than the 046 I have my filter set to, so therefore it won't estimate my 1RM. We see just a little line. Now let's do a couple more reps. So you can see 071, 040, perfect. Here we can see that with the load of 040, since it is slower than 046, it does, it does estimate my 1RM. Okay. Now let's imagine we don't care about this filter and we want to estimate with whatever velocity we want. We can just move this up and say, okay, I want my filter to be at 0.90 meters per second. We save. We make sure it's this athlete and this exercise. We save. Okay. And now when we do a rep at practically any velocity, as long as it's under 0.96, it will estimate your 1RM. 090, I think it was, not 096, sorry. And as we see here, now it estimates everything, even the really high velocities, because we put the filter at 090. I'm going to put it back how it was now, at 046. Okay. Here we still have these estimates. Now, but now if we go back and do a 0.74, we see it won't estimate.